it's wonderful to be here with members of the Labor Party, members uh, and con people who contribute to our trade union movement, and of course the supporters in this room of the Irish Friends of Labor. Now, it's an, it's an absolute honour to be here at the inaugural awards, and the timing of this couldn't be much better. It really is fitting that in 2016, well, while we celebrate 100 years of the Irish uprising, we, the Labor Party, will begin an annual tribute to the heroic women who have contributed so much to our cause and to our community. And now amongst tonight's winners, we've got women from all walks of life, and they really are incredible. We've got Australia's first female cabinet minister. I think that's fantastic. A former senator, an MLC, the first female mayor for her community, a teacher, a justice of the industrial court, a celebrated community champion and a fantastic creative director, a veteran community activist, a leading trade unionist, and a young Labor activist with an extremely bright future in our party. And when you look at that list of women, you really can see how diverse our Labor Party is and how anyone in the Labor Party can be so proud of the list of women who are coming before you tonight. I'd personally like to congratulate the outstanding women who were honoured tonight, but uh, unfortunately, I believe we're limited for time and I want to make sure we can hear their speeches after me. But before I do so, and before I say some final words, I just want to acknowledge the work of Dermot Ryan. Now, the Labor Party has many Friends of Labor groups and community action networks throughout the party. The Irish Friends of Labor has been one of the most active in the Labor Party, one of the most successful, raising funds for candidates at not just this coming federal campaign, but also at the last state election. And they did a wonderful job of helping our candidates get to their targets. I want to congratulate Dermot. I want to also congratulate Deborah O'Neill. I want to congratulate the entire committee on the work tonight. And I want to make sure that you know that the entire party is behind you as you continue in this venture. I'm very proud to say, after many conversations with uh, Deborah and Dermot, that the proceeds from tonight will go to female Labor candidates running in federal seats. To that, I can <laughs> We need women like Susan Templeman, like Emma Husser, like Lyndall Howison, like Janelle Saffin, Anne Charlton, and of course, our fantastic sitting MPs, Julie Owens, Michelle Rowland, Sharon Bird, Justine Elliott, of course, Deborah O'Neill and Jenny McAllister. These women will all make a fantastic contribution to Bill Shorten's team and our Federal Labor Party. The Labor movement must support them as long as we continue to take on these challenges because the next, next six months are going to be a very challenging fight and we need every single one of you behind them. So, in closing, I want to say, let's show the Liberals and Nationals what we've got. Let's take it to them in seats across this state because we can win seats back off the Liberals and Nationals in New South Wales and we will. We will. We will. I hope you have a fantastic time. I want to congratulate And uh, if anyone would like, I have got a few copies of my nomination form down the front. Uh, so please come up and, uh, and give it a good sign. So thank you everyone and of course I'd like to congratulate again the wonderful award recipients tonight and I understand we're about to move into the next round of those right now. So put your hands together for them.